I know. I told you many things in previous slides, right? If you forgot all those things, it's okay. If you remember this slide only, that will be sufficient. And here I prepare summary of all those slides. Quantum mechanics has these three basic elements, preparation, evolution, and measurement. Three basic blocks, fundamental blocks, right? And for these three basic elements, quantum mechanics give you three postulates, right? For preparation, you have rho. So rho is a mathematical representation of your preparation procedure. And rho must be a positive operator because all these probabilities are positive numbers, whatever measurement you perform. And trace of rho must be one because these probabilities sum and give you one, right? And pure state is a special case of this more general state. And pure state you can represent by a state vector, other you cannot. Now we come to the, this second fundamental box, evolution. Unitary evolution is a special case of uh, more general evolution. So more general evolution is uh, given by C, P, T, P map, which I showed you before. The C, P means completely positive, which means if you ap apply this operation on a subsystem, still you get a positive operator, positive state, right? That is a completely positivity condition. And this is your trace preserving condition, PP, which means that after evolution, if you perform any measurement, you will get probabilities and they will add and give you one, right? Now this third box, third fundamental box, measurement. So projective measurement or measurement in a basis BA is a special case of more general measurement. So more general me measurement is called POVM, positive operator value measure, which is a collection of positive operator and they sum and give you identity, which is a completeness relation, which means that every measurement has a result. And these three are the basic postulates of quantum mechanics. For preparation, you represent by row, for evolution, you represent it by CPTP map and measurement, you represent uh, it by a POVM, right? So these are the three basic postulates of quantum mechanics for these three basic uh, elements or procedures, right? Now probabilities. So probability you can calculate from data, right? By applying, for example, maximum likelihood uh, estimation procedure, or you can use Bond rule, if you know your preparation. So this is a probability of getting outcome I. And these probabilities are positive numbers and they sum and give you one, right? So I told you that you have row here, preparation, and this EK describe your evolution and this rho prime is your evolved state and this pi k uh, pi i is your uh, uh, measurement uh, operators and this pi is your probability and if you are calculating this pi from evolved state so there will be rho prime okay so you may not have this seen this picture quite often you may have seen this picture right a lot so these two pictures are basically same, right? Here in the bottom picture, you prepare your quantum system or a qubit in a standard state zero. And then the system goes, your qubit goes through a unitary evolution. And this is a symbol of measurement, right? So these two pictures are same. And we are going to use this bottom one picture when we are going to introduce you with the Algorithms, different uh, quantum algorithm, for example, Grover algorithm, Shore algorithm, or machine learning algorithm, right? In the later part of this course. So that's all I want to say. Thank you so much for joining us in this journey. I'm sure you will learn a lot. And after completing this course, you can call yourself as an expert in quantum and AI. Thank you so much and see you in the next lecture.